Hello, my crafty friends. It's Jelly Bean. And today's video is going to be just a little bit different. I know there's a few emails going around right now about images cre created with AI programs. And I've had several people message me asking me questions. So I wanted to address some of the questions and share with you what I know about something new. You know, our world is changing so fast and there are so many new things, so new that we don't understand, so new that the laws and rules are just being developed and the ones that are in place change frequently. But some of these are exciting changes. And in a changing, questionable world, you know, we should build each other up. We should support one another. We're all out here doing the same thing and nobody's perfect. So let us embrace our shared humanity let us extend kindness, empathy, and understanding to those around us. And let us be the change we wish to see. Hope in a world that sometimes feels uncertain. Something new in our changing world is the world of AI, artificial intelligence. So, Let's talk about the new and exciting world of image creation with the use of some AI programs. Crafters everywhere are creating some really amazing images with different AI programs. And it's kind of like the chat GPT that's been seen on the news. It's doing something with the assistance of a computer. So let's talk about image creations using these programs. First, I want to tell you, and I want it, you know, y'all to understand, I am not an expert. And I don't know everything about the AI programs. I've been using it for a few months right now. And some other programs too. But I'm still learning about the AI image creation, which I think is pretty amazing myself. Almost everyone knows that I've been creating images and printing them on fabric and printing them on rice paper and mulberry paper and selling the fabric and the papers at my sales. And some of the images that I use to create the fabric and the rice paper and the mulberry paper, I did use um, an AI program um, to help me create some of the images. Some of the programs out there are free. Some of the programs out there are paid. Um, there's several different ones. There's a uh, mid journey, Night Cafe, Bing Image Creator, Stable Diffusion. That's just a few of them. There's a lot, a lot of them out there. If you Google it, you'll get a whole list. <laughs> but each program that's out there have their own terms of use or terms of service to what the images can and cannot be used for. Some give you complete ownership of the images you create and allow you to use the images you create commercially. Some allow you to use the images commercially if you alter them with another program. And some only allow personal use of the images you create with the program. So please, before you use any of the AI programs, Make sure and read the terms of service or terms of use, whichever one, they call them different things. So 
Right now you're looking at my desktop. I'm going to show y'all some things here in a minute, but that is a image that I created with an AI program on my desktop. Um, there are images all over Etsy that people are already selling that are AI images. You can actually search Etsy and search AI images and some of them even have it in the description or the title AI images for download. Um, and they're definitely all over Pinterest. Um, some of them, once you start playing around with the AI programs, you can tell some of the AI images. And I mean, you can tell a lot of them on Etsy are AI programs. But <clears throat> anyway, okay, so that's enough about all the legal stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the free AI image creators that I have used. And I'm going to show you and walk you through how to create some images and um, show you how to do it. But you are looking at my desktop and I am going to share my screen. I'm already doing that, but I'm going to show you what to do. Um, I'm going to open my browser and I have two different browsers right now. I have Microsoft and Google, and I just like to do different things. You can use either one that you like. But the website you're going to go to is bing.com, B-I-N-G.com. And it, you'll see, um, here's the web address here, bing.com. And up here at the top, you'll see Copilot images and over here on the side of the chat box you see this little circle with the blue and red colored swirl thing in it that is copilot and then there's copilot up here copilot is the one that i like to use because there is one under images you can go to images and across the top here you have these right here says create and if you click on create, it comes to this screen here. On this screen, you can type in this chat bar up here. Let me type something, highlight it so it'll you can see a little bit better. But if you go there, that's where you can type in your prompt. And I'm going to explain your prompt in a minute. And you can get the same exact this does the same exact thing. The only thing with this is if you see over here at the end of where you type, it's got a 15 with a little yellow circle with a lightning bolt in it. It gives you 15 like turns a day. You can do 15 times of trying to do your image and you can still do it after that, but it takes a super long time for it to gener generate the images. Plus, this one here, the terms of service is very vague. And even though it's the same company, both of them are different in the terms of service. So I'm just going to go back to the screen I was at. And I had to close out that window. And I'm back at the Microsoft Bing, bing.com. And I'm going to go to the Copilot. You can click there. You can click the little circle over here on the side. I'm going to click the little circle. And this is going to bring you to Copilot. And down here at the bottom, you can see um, Ask Me Anything. Now you can type in your prompt. So let me hide that so it's out of the way. You can type in your prompt or you can use the microphone over here and talk and it'll type what you talk, what you say. And just for the purposes of this video today, I'm going to type, but I want to show you some stuff and I've already got it pulled up because uh, it might take a little while depending on 
your internet speed and it's raining here today I typed in and you can see right here this is the chat box I typed in right here can images created with copilot be used to make projects and sell them copilot answered right here certainly images created with copilot can be used for various projects whoops <laughs> Click the wrong thing there for various projects including commercial ones however it is essential to keep a few things in mind and it goes through down here that when you make an image you need to put a watermark on it so it's your copyright and blah 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 you can type in the same ones get the same answers and you can read all of it next I typed in can images created here in Copilot be used commercially? I just worded it differently. Make sure. Certainly, images created with Copilot can be used for commercial purposes. However, it's essential, essential to consider a few factors. Again, it goes through the... Um, it's telling you to review the terms and licensing agreement with different projects and... Um, all this Copilot is unique and doesn't infringe on anyone else's intellectual property rights, but generates contents based on existing data. So adding your personal touch is crucial. So if you read everything like I have, it's saying that, you know, someone that puts in a similar prompt that, as you, they will, while they will not get the same picture, they can get something similar to it. And I'm going to show you something about that in a minute, too. So here I put, can I sell paper crafts using images created with Copilot? Copilot answered here, certainly you can absolutely sell paper crafts using images created with Copilot. Paper crafts are delightful fusion of creativity and precision and can often captivate enthusiasts and collectors alike. Here are some steps to consider. And then it goes through quality and craftsmanship, how to watermark it. It tells you to set up a store like Etsy to showcase and sell your creations. It goes through pricing and profit margins. See, I told you it don't give you a short answer on anything. So I asked it one more question. I put, and this is me, you, can I use images created on Copilot to print on fabric and sell the fabric as a supply to use in crafts? Copilot answered, certainly. You can use images created with Copilot to print on fabric and sell fabric as a craft supply for crafts. However, there are some important considerations. Watermarks, originality, market your fabric, set up a shop, or collaborate with your local craft stores to sell your fabric. You know, it's everything is legal. And then I asked it some other questions, just but that's the main ones I wanted to go over with y'all. Now I'm going to ask it to um, make a picture. And the first thing that you need to put in when you want it to create a picture is you're going to put, you're going to type in create image of, and I'm going to put vintage Victorian lady on park spell P A R K Park Bench feeding birds. Okay, that's all I'm gonna put, and I'm gonna hit enter. Now you can get very, very detailed with this, but this is your prompt. The words that you put in of what picture you want it to create. 
Now it's going to sit here and it takes a few minutes for it to generate. And that's why I went ahead and did some of the stuff in advance so you can see. Okay, it gives you four images. These are the four images, and I'm going to make it bigger so you can see it. It's kind of slow, and today with the rain, it takes a little bit longer. Okay, here's picture number one. Now, at the bottom down here, this is the original picture it come up with. It come up with a black and white picture. picture. I can change the way the picture looks down here at the bottom. There is pixel art. If I click on that, it's going to make it look really funny. Because it's going to pixelate it. It's going to look like something in Minecraft. And all of these take a few minutes. See, now it's like pixelated. I can go back or undo. I haven't used this one in a while. They've actually added this. When I undo, it goes back to original. I can do it in watercolor. Watercolor is a pretty neat feature. And this does take a while, but I have created several pictures with this, and most of the time, um, there's the one with watercolor. See, it changes the whole picture into something different, depending on what, what you want. It doesn't give you the same picture in watercolor. It gives you a different picture with a watercolor texture. Okay, I'm going to go back and show you a couple of the other pictures. This one's really nice. This one looks like it went ahead and did it in watercolor or whatever. And you can play with all these. I'm not going to go through all of them right now. I will. I am going to come back and do some tutorials and show you all some other stuff. But I wanted to give you the basics of it right now and explain what it is and how it works. But every time you put in what you want it to create, it's going to give you four pictures. Now you can save your pictures. And now these are my pictures. These belong to me. I own them. That is in the terms of service with the Copilot terms of service. Once you make, you put in your prompt and you do a picture, that is your picture. So now I can take this picture and I can put it on Etsy and I can sell it. But there are a couple drawbacks to the free AI programs. Number one, this is not a very enhanced picture. It's only, it'll be less than 100 DPI. And DPI is the dots per inch. When you buy images on Etsy, they're at least 300 dots per inch. And what that means is when you print a picture, you want a clear picture. <laughs> but you want a clear picture with nice, you know, straight lines or not broken lines and stuff like that. When the DPI dots per inch are less, that's not a good quality picture. Not to mention, as you can see, these are square little pictures. And to get a decent print out of these pictures... You have to print them somewhere between 6 by 6 and like maybe 7 by 7 when you print them. Any bigger and it's going to look fuzzy and distorted and all that. So that's one of the drawbacks from using the AI program. Now, if you have another program like Adobe or some other programs, the Photoshop and all that, you can take these pictures, put it in there, and you can enhance it. You can make it where it's a bigger, the, um, the pixels, there's more pixels, which makes it bigger. And you can change the shape to, you know, 8.5 by 10, 8.5 by 11, or 
you know, you can make it a 10 by 16 if you want to. And you can also change the colors, you know, I could take all the birds and make them blue in here if I wanted to, whatever. But that's one of the drawbacks from it. But you can save your pictures in the, um, and they've moved it. Like I said, I haven't, I haven't done this in a while. Let me see. I think you got to save all four of them. Let me see if that's what it is. Mm, no. Uh, they, they're changing it so much. There we go. Save. It's on each picture. And when I save it, it's going to go to my save collections. And I can just click on which folder I wanted in that I have created. And it'll, it'll save there. I can also right click on it when I make it big. If I right click on it, let it open. Then I can save, you know, the box pops up when you right click on it. Or you can download it. They may have uh, disabled that feature now. Okay, let's try something different. Alright, yeah, download right here. And you can download it and save it to your thing. There's also an edit in designer. Now that goes back over to the designer. And I do not know the terms of service of the designer. So... You'll need to read that and find out because I use the Photoshop and stuff. All right, I'm going to say create image of butterflies with roses and pearls with pink background. hit enter and it's going to create four more images it says I'll try to create that and it pops up and it's thinking about it and getting it ready now I'm going to save one or I'm going to save these probably to my computer and I'm going to show you how to do a search to make sure, okay, here's my butterflies with roses and pearls with the pink background. So I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to see now if I right click on it, it says blur background or color pop. You can, they've got it where you can do all kind of stuff on it now. Um, you can share it. And I'm going to save these in my personal folder here. And it's going to go in my collections. These are now my photos that I can put in Etsy. I can print. I can print fabric with it. I can sell it any way I want to. I can put it in a journal, sell the journal. All right, let me um, go to download. I'm going to download this picture because I want to show you one more thing. Downloaded. Alright, now I'm going to have to go to my downloads, and I'm going to have to open the file, and probably save it where I want it on my computer. Um, I don't know where it put it right now. Make a copy. And I'm just going to put it on my desktop. That way I can find it.
and this is saved. It also, it it gives you PNG images, not JPG or Lady in Park. Okay. Now, if I go to Google, and I've already got it pulled up to save a little bit of time, but let me minimize this. If I go to Google, to Google search, right here on the end of the search bar, there's a microphone and there's a little square with a dot. And this is where you can search by image. You can put a picture in there and search that picture. So I'm going to upload a file. And I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to get that picture, Lady in the Park. And I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to tell it to search for it and see if that exact picture is anywhere anybody's using. Now, it did the search. Here's the image that I created in the Bing Copilot. And these are the pictures here that it's saying, okay, this is what we found that's similar but you do not see the same exact image anywhere. This is one way to check it to make sure, you know, nobody's got the same exact thing. So you know you can sell it. So I don't see any color or black and white pictures with the lady on the bench with the little boy in front of her, with the birds around, her big hat, I don't see this same exact image anywhere. Okay. And so that's what I do with my pictures before. If I, if I generate with an AI image, what I do is I, before I take it to sell and put it on anything to sell, I search it on Google with the image search to make sure that nobody has created something so close that it could be a discrepancy, you know? All right. Also on Google, if you type in here, can you sell images created with AI commercially? It's going to, yes, it is generally legal to sell AI-generated images, but it's important to consider copyright and intellectual property rights, especially if the images contain elements that might be protected. So it's just saying, yes, you can sell AI images. You just need to check and make sure. You know, I've seen some people do like the Starry Night um, picture and maybe change a couple things that would be so close that would be questionable you know so that is what i wanted to show you about the ai images and just let you know now i have put in the same prompt the same exact words over here on the image generator on the bing i put in the same exact words and gotten a different picture every time. It never creates the same exact picture, but it will do some that are resembling each other. So you do need to check and make sure no one else has done it. You know, because I wouldn't ever want anyone to feel like I copied them or used their image. As a creator myself, I don't want anyone copying the exact images I've created, and I would never do that to anyone else. So, um, I know this is getting a little long, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. But I will come back, and we'll learn AI together. I'm still learning some of it, and they're changing it so fast. Um, like the Bing, they didn't have the different... Um, types down here at the bottom before when I used it. I've been busy doing other things right now, and I've had a lot going on, so I haven't been in here for about a week, and they've already changed it, but it's changing rapidly, and 
you know, it's just something new and everybody's jumping on the bandwagon right now. And I hope this answered a lot of your questions. If if it you still have questions, ask me in the chat below, in the chat section below, comment section. And if you don't feel comfortable doing that, I'm going to put my email in the description box. You can email me questions and <clears throat> I will answer them as soon as I can. Like I said, right now I got a lot going on. I will be selling the Blendy tomorrow on her channel. So y'all watch out for that. Um, I believe it starts at um, noon Eastern time. But uh, I hope this helped and I, I hope it helps, you know, y'all understand that AI images can be sold. They're your property once you make them, depending on which program you use. Now, there's some out there that's a lot better than the Bing, and, but they're paid. Most of them are paid that are better. But there's a lot of free ones out there that are a little bit better, too. But play with them and see what you get. I mean, anybody can do it. You just got to play with it and get used to it. But I want to thank y'all for watching. Um... I don't want this to get any longer than what it already is. And I'll be back soon. We'll learn it together. I'll do some more screen share and we'll make some more pictures and stuff. And we'll figure it out. So, y'all have a crafty day. And I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.